Joined now by Amanda from Ross Video. This is the Carbonite, Ross's switcher that was created, I believe, to fill a market gap. Certainly was. Uh, we found that there was a gap in the market for a mid-range production switcher. Mm. So we came out with our Ross Carbonite range of switches, uh, last NAB, and sold 63 off of the sh show floor. And within 12 months, we're up to 700 worldwide. So clearly, clearly a product that uh, demand met your expectation. Okay, so this is a two MLE control panel with, uh, with I think, 24 buttons. So there's a new That's panel it. that has the 32 buttons, but there, it's still a 24 primary input device. That's it. We released at IBC uh, the new panel that you're talking about, which is the Carbonite 2X, and along with two other frames. Mm. Uh, the Carbonite Plus frame, which now has a format converter and a frame sync per input, as well as eight DVEs system-wide, as well as our Carbonite Multimedia frame, which allows you to have HDMI inputs, analog inputs into the frame as well. So you can still plug in those old composite cameras that are, that are floating around. And you might be saying, why would you want the additional buttons if you haven't got the additional inputs but of course everything on this is assignable so some of the buttons can be taken up by uh, other MLEs or by assigning auxes directly to to primary input buttons and you can arrange this any way you like that's it and you've also got four built-in internal media stores as well so you need to have access to now, those. the media stores is really interesting so the, these are devices where you can either have four effect, effectively four things that you can use to play clips or you could have two of them with alpha channels or, or some combination of that is stills with target sequences, or target sequences or stills or audio as well. So we also support audio channels, so we can have 16 channels of embedded audio per two channels of uh, internal media store, as well as we use them in our transition area mm. uh, with our media wipe. So rather than having to set up a big ca uh, custom control or a memory to do one of those alpha transitions or an RTD, we build it straight into the transition and, area. And I thought that was really, really cute. So you basically take a, a WAV file, you name it the same name, as the the video file that you're going to be transitioning into the target file target sequence, and, yep. and the target sequence and then you just hit the button and uh, this marries the sequence the audio yep. and just embeds the audio coming out of the primary yep. output we want to make it as easy uh, as your other transitions now uh, it, the box also supports audio follow so you can assign yep. that or not assign that mm -hmm. and either pass or not pass yep. the, the audio through um, it's got eight outputs that I believe can be assigned to any logical function. Ten outputs. Ten outputs. Ten outputs, totally assignable. Either OXs, uh, two of the built-in multi-viewers, program or preview. So you could, you could have like three program outputs, one preview output, and or you could basically use the outputs as like a big DA, have everything off program or, or have like. them all follow anything you like. Whatever you want to do. Okay. Um, what about actually uh, recording and replaying sequences? Absolutely. Uh, with our Carbonite system, especially in the mid-range systems, uh, there aren't many out there that have a lot of memory functionality. Mm. We have 100 memories which can be recalled on MLE1 or MLE2, mm. and we also have really great custom controls which can run custom controls within custom controls. We can run memories within custom controls. We can have holds or pauses, really giving you a lot of flexibility. And, and I noticed that this can all be done like over Ethernet, so it can be done over the network or the traditional manner which is you go to your 37 pin connector and you you touch wires together with a GPI. Yep so we have a, a protocol called Ross, uh, Ross Talk mm. which allows GPI trigger over Ethernet. What I thought was particularly interesting when when I was playing with this uh, it's a colored panel so it's gone into saver mode now yeah. but if we touch that you can see that it lights up and it tells you when you're about to make a mistake. That's it. So what we've got is you can see that you've got MLE1 is a different color to MLE2. So if you're on a smaller panel, you wouldn't be limited on functionality. What you'd end up having is from the one row, you could select between MLEs and it would change color. Also, when you're selecting a Kia, your multi-source row uh, changes to show you that you're actually changing a Kia. Same when you change an aux. So mm. you know that you're changing an aux. Same with your custom controls as well. And, and a really cute function, you not only have the visual thing, but, uh, but also the buttons have, have little indentations so you can run your hands along them and actually find when you're uh, at, uh, at uh, break points in, yep. in, in the button itch, which is really good. Um, okay, uh, touch screen interface coming in with this version. Yes, with uh, at IBC we released what's called view control. Mm. Uh, view control allows you to uh, control via a touch screen, uh, custom controls, memories, uh, cut bus for different sources uh, very quickly and easily. 
So it gives you that little soft panel if you want to have that interface as well as your traditional panel. We've yeah. also got a side shot box which allows you to run your custom controls just from a separate little box and a separate aux panel as well. And, and I noticed um, as, as we were looking at this before we, we came on camera, there are lots of usability functions where with a, very, with a couple of very quick keystrokes you can copy one thing to another. So if you're setting up a box and you want to propagate that across mm -hmm. to, to another box with the same look as you're building DVEs, very easy to do. A very easy to assign one, one key function to another another key. Absolutely. That's what we pride ourselves with with the Ross products. We really focus on ease of use uh, and giving you a lot of power out of the products as well as being affordable. Pretty amazing. So the Ross Carbonite now with three frames all improved and at a price point around about 40k at the start, which is just incredible.